Hello everyone, Dick Hat, and welcome back to some more Mass Effect. We left off, about to go up to the docking bay for the first time. Supposed to meet our representative up here, the council member, whatever of ours. I guess not the council member, but our representative. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. Oh boy, that'll be fun. The production fun. will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Uh, it's kind of a touche because the humans really wouldn't pick up on their body movements or their pheromones. It really would just be very raw, plain, and direct. I moved myself by accident, so we're going to alt tab here real quick just for a minute. I apologize for the poor quality. But I'd move myself a little bit to the left to get out of the way of the mini radar. Oh boy, lag will textures load. This is the docking bay, and holy crap, is that bright as heck. Hey guys, how's it going? Don't mind me. Ah, here's one of my keepers. Looks like someone touched you. Mm, I need one more. Know it's around here somewhere, but let's talk to you. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I will. Take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. Why are you I want doing the this? truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Oh, there's more Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. He doesn't owe you shit, but that's fine. Ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Hmm, what went wrong? What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Uh, you can count I won't on me. Let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the, the Reapers? Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But oh, if they, they do. do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Count on me. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Um, I'll start Sounds there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. <laughs> uh, that's your job. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Politics, man. It's kind of the shit you signed up for. Yes, Commander. You okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Such a high, high honor, high Tell praise me what for happened that. With you and Saren twenty years ago. It's hard it's to hand power over peacefully. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. 
like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why, Why weren't you it? honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. What happened? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Mm, was anyone How hurt? Many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated, mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? Yeah. In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Yeah, it's not a fall. Don't blame yourself. Not Captain. fair, not fall. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Yeah, Why it's not fair, but nothing's fair. Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Mm, you don't could have, yourself, maybe, Captain. but... I don't. Can't predict the future, my friend. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. Oh, if so, you listen to that one. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. And your backstory. And it's everything no else. Any side mission. Um... Pharos. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Sounds Tower? Sounds like a terrible place to build a colony. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colony. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Okay. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. Mm, are the you people sure? I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. Scout ship? What can you tell me about the ship? I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Bane's the next time you see him. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else, Commander? Um, you worked with I want to know the truth about you and Saren. 
I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We this had one? intel on we Yes, the I did. Simple. Sneak into the plant. The only thing You're I care right. about. It's uh, no good. that should be everything. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Hmm. Arm the weapons. Told me to go talk to what's his name again. I was expecting to leave the Citadel. But alas, there is never never just done Celebrations here. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a Thank rare you, admission Rex. of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Yeah, but then they kind of try to destroy everyone on top of that, but it's fine. They didn't do that. Krogans. It's such a weird thing because they were uplifted. We totally destroyed their society and their way of life and their tribalism and all their stuff by uplifting them so far, so fast. Um, I want to go to Persidia or no, I want to go to Citadel Tower. The Admiral is, I believe. I'm just jumping around here. You have arrived at the Citadel Tower. I want to do a Yui and talk to that gentleman over there. Excuse me, coming through. Move aside, everybody. Poor oh, federal business. Is... Commander, any luck finding my recon group? Baines. Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him. Frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we found Baines's ship in. Oh shit. You should have Tell mentioned me. this earlier, Admiral. Baines is already dead. It's too late for him. I'm only concerned about my team. Someone has to find them. Please, Shepard. I'm counting on you. Okay. No, that wasn't that important. Where would the sniper be positioned? I really appreciate what you're doing for me. Please let me know as soon as you find any information on my brother. Good. Travel terminal here? Yeah, it boots you out right here, so there must be. Jump back to the dockyards real quick. Upper sitting location. Oh, that was the wrong one. It's a beautiful loading screen, though. It's what we're here for, everyone. Try this again. Word location. CSEC markets. Oh, looks like I gotta go CSEC and then take the long elevator up. Kind of unfortunate. Love the fast travel all the way up to the ship, but it's fine. Guess you gotta come through security before you can enter the Citadel, apparently, or at least from this dock. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. Yes, it While did. the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Yeah, they put the new Spectre on taking out the most experienced Spectre there is. Fine. But we're humanity. We're ambitious. We can do it. We can take them on. The logic still isn't there though, but we can do it. They're literally just like, bam, you're a specter. Go take care of him. It's like, I have, I have anything now? Okay. It's like you get the full support to do whatever you want, but you can't really do whatever you want. It's a weird, weird little thing. Shh, Norman Date, we love you. SR1. By shore party. I love the SR1 and SR2. Sick. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. He survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. This feels wrong. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 
Intercom's Good. open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Uh, now we do things my way. I need to be honest with them. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Uh, humanity must do its part. Saren will be ready for us. Nobody's going to help us. Eden Prime was just the start. Uh, it's mostly humans on here, for right? too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Hmm, Saren can't hide Wherever from us. Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Hmm, you must not fail. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Dramatic. <laughs> uh, not if we fail, it doesn't matter anymore. Ouch. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Sure yes, did. sir. Paragon plus two, instant U-turn. You poor look outside. Codex. We love codexes. Hey, where's the co-pilot? Commander, something you need? Ship status How's report. the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. Wolves. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolich syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Uh, how'd you get Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. That's no answer. You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Walls. <laughs> Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. You were, my friend. I need to know more about this Vrolich syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures, hip, thighs, ankles. My bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. <laughs> How do you do your job? You're not going to break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I got to be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. Touchy, my friend. I'm not friend. trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. Um, status report, personal history. How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. 
I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. Sure does make sense. And looks like that's I have all to go. I've all got right, to talk to you about. All right, see ya. Quite interesting and weird that they don't use their feet for anything in flying these ships, because in like other modern day aircraft, you do use your feet and other things. It just seems like a wasted interface interaction control. But if they can use the brain and mental and all that other stuff in this little sci-fi universe, I'm not sure where that that level that time I mean, they have the biotics and all the other stuff and there is like force powers so i guess technically they should be able to tap into that stuff to control steps not sure though but we're actually out of time for this episode guys i really do appreciate y'all stopping by do all the youtube stuff like subscribe comment hit the ball all buttons do all things except for the thumbs down one don't touch that one it's a useless terrible button and i will see you all in the next video dig figure Hmm, you guys are still here. I don't do anything interesting back here. Oh, wait! Nope, nothing interesting. Bye-bye.